Wasi 2025 Core Mathematics Paper 2, Section A. That is a compulsory part. Question 1. An intercity shuttle travels between two cities. So the two cities we have Amanfro and Kotoku. Covering the first half of the distance at an average speed of 60 km per hour and the second half at 90 km per hour. The total distance between the two cities is 300 km. So A, we have to calculate for the entire journey the average speed of the shuttle. And then B, if the speed of the shuttle in the first half of the journey is reduced to 50 km per hour, then we have to determine its effect on the overall time. So let's get a picture of the demands of the question. So we have an intercity shuttle. An intercity shuttle is more or less like a vehicle or a bus that uh, conveys people and goods from one city to the other. So we have uh, our two cities. So we are representing the city in red as a man from And the city in blue as Kotoku. Remember, we were told that the total distance between the two cities is 300 kilometers. That is from Amanfro to Kotoku. The total distance measures 300 kilometers. Now, as part of the normal routine of the intercity shuttle, it did the traveling in two foods. It did the traveling in two foods. Now, we were told that it covered the first half of the distance at an average speed of 60 kilometers per hour and the second half at 90 kilometers per hour. So we know that the total distance from Amanfro to Kotoku measures 300 kilometers. So let's get the distances for half, half the distance. So if the total distance measures 300 kilometers, then half the distance will be 150 kilometers and 150 kilometers. So half 150, half 150, giving us a total of 300 kilometers. But in the first half of the journey, so the first half, the average speed, so the average speed was giving us uh, 60 kilometers per hour and also with the second half with the second half of the chain with the second half of the journey second half the average speed was giving us 90 kilometers per hour so before we start solving this question let's look at something there is this formula we should know that uh, speed is equal to distance over time and two average speed average speed is equal to total distance divided by total time take note of these two formulas Average speed is equal to total distance divided by total time. And in the A part of the question, we were to calculate for the entire journey the average speed of the shuttle. So to calculate the average speed for the entire journey, 
we need two things. We need total distance and then total time. The total distance covered was 300 kilometers from Amalfro to Kutuku, 300 kilometers. What is missing here is the total time. You also need to find the total time from Amalfro to Kutuku. But the total time can be calculated in two foods. Let's calculate the total time for the first part of the journey. Total time for the first part of the journey. So, the time for the first part of the journey, I'm representing that as T1. That is what we are looking for. Now, we know that speed is equal to distance over time. So, when you make time the subject, when you make time the subject, you are going to get time is equal to distance divided by speed. So this is the formula we are going to use to calculate the time for each half of the journey. So for T1, that is the time for the first part of the journey. We know that the distance covered for the first part of the journey or the first half of the journey was 150 kilometers. So divided by speed for the first half it was giving us 60 kilometers per hour so t1 that is the time for the first part of the journey we have 150 divided by 60 so we have five on two hours for the second half the time for the second half of the journey, I'm representing that as T2. And that is what we are looking for. Remember, to calculate for time, you go by the formula, distance divided by speed. The distance for the second half of the journey was 150 kilometers. And then the speed for the second half of the journey was 90 kilometers per hour. So let's find out. Let's find out. This time we have uh, 150 divided by 90. 150 divided by 90. And let's see the result. That is 5 on 3 hours. We have 5 on three hours but we are looking for the total time so total time will be t1 plus t2 total time so total time tt for total time so TT will be equal to uh, 5 on 2 hours plus 5 on 3 hours. So we have total time as let's verify our answer. Okay, so 5 on 2 plus 5 on 3 hours. So we have total time as 25 on 6 hours. So now all is set. You should be able to calculate the average speed. So the average speed for the entire journey will be equal to the total distance. Total distance is 300 kilometers divided by total time, which is 25 on 6 hours. So finally, 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 what is our average speed for the entire journey? 
so we have 300 kilometers divided by 25 on 6 hours so we have 72 72 kilometers per hour that is for the a part of the question let's also uh, verify the so with the b with the b if the speed of the shuttle in the first half of the journey is reduced to 50 kilometers per hour then we have to determine its effect on the overall time so let's look at the first half of the journey so the first half of the journey this time the speed is no more 60 kilometers per hour but rather 50 kilometers per hour because it has been reduced so what is the distance for the first part of the journey? The distance is still constant. The distance remains unchanged. So the distance is still 150 kilometers. But now let's calculate the time. So the new time, the new time after the reduction so after the reduction and c remember the formula for calculating time is still distance so the distance here is 150 kilometers divided by speed which is 50 so what is 150 divided by 50? So we have three hours. So now the new time is three hours. Remember the time when the speed was 60 kilometers was five on two. And now when the speed was reduced to 50 kilometers per hour, the time has increased to three hours. Let's see something. Five on two. So five on two is, that is two and a half hours. Two and a half hours, 2.5, that is two and a half. Two and a half hours. And now it has increased to three hours. So, what effect will it have on the overall time? We see that it will cause the overall time to increase by cause the overall time to increase by half an hour. Because when you find the difference between this new time and then T1. So let's see. Three hours minus five on two hours. Let's see the result. Three minus five on two. So we have half. So half an hour. Or you know that half an hour is the same as 30 minutes. So the, in conclusion, we can see that uh, it will, so when the speed of the shuttle in the first half of the journey is reduced to 50 kilometers per hour, it will cause a 30 minutes increase. 30 minutes increase 
in the overall time in the overall time so that is for the b part of the question